Hi, I'm Life Coach Landry, and the topic is ways to come back from a rough breakup. Everybody's been there. Everybody's gone through it. You know, if it's one of those things where you're kind of caught up in the moment and you just can't shake it and it's just whatever's going on for you, um, I'm going to give you some tips on how to break out of that cycle. But at the same time, I want you to say these three things to yourself. Feel it, understand it, and accept it. Okay? Feel it, understand it, and accept it. Okay? I think when you rehearse these three things, that's what we're about to cover, okay? Life without rejection. You know, I ask you to consider what would life actually be like romantically without rejection? You would probably never filter yourself to the point to where you find the right one. You would have accepted the first person you ever got if it was all about being accepted, right? Rejection has a point and a process built into it to help humans progress naturally. So it's important that you go through it, okay? I mean, I know as hurt as you are in the moment, and maybe that's why you came to this video, it will heal, it will be over, and you will move forward, and you will reflect, okay? That's a part of the fill it I want you to go through, okay? I want you to sit there, and I want you to take time and say, you know what, this does hurt. This fucking sucks. It doesn't feel good. But it's important that you know that you and that you start processing that. What's not important is you sit there and you fucking dwell and you crawl under the covers and you don't want to go anywhere for weeks at a time. Toughen up. This is life. Relationships come and go. If that person doesn't want to be with you anymore or if you messed up, it either might come back together. But if you're the one that called it off or they called it off, why would you ever want to be with somebody who doesn't want to be with you? Okay? Think about it. If you've had all these good times and you're thinking about all these things you've done, but ultimately, even after a conversation of trying to bond it back together, they sit there and they tell you, you know what? I'm just not feeling it. Why would you want to be with somebody who doesn't feel it with you anymore? It's time to move on. Okay. Number two, I want you to understand it with a develop um, a growth mindset. Okay. Now it's time for you to grow. Okay. Research shows that people who look at their breakups as permanent statements about their worth take longer to recover. In other words, don't attach how you feel and what happened to your self-esteem. It's not a reflection of who you are personally. It was a reflection of you two together and what came of that. Okay, you as an individual are still a good person. You're still fine. You're still strong. You're still smart. You still know what you're doing. But in combination with a variable called the other person, that means 50% of the situation was likely uncontrolled. It means it was on them too. Okay. Now, all probable causes doesn't mean you didn't do anything or they didn't do one thing that was 80% of the problem, but it means when it came down to the final conversation about getting back together, you, the best you could do is offer 50% of your intake, right? The other 50 comes from them. So understand that. Number three, I want you to understand an emotional makeover, okay? You know, I want you to steer clear of gimmicks and and stupid shit and romantic books and instead I want you to take on an emotional makeover okay you're gonna take off this old social mask and you're gonna put it over here on the shelf and it's got scratches it's old it's beat up now it doesn't look that good anyway so why would you want to be wearing it anymore and I want you to uh, take some social risk right I want you to challenge yourself to grow a little bit I want you to um, you know, do you want to improve on your communication skills? Do you want to work with a life coach? Do you want to develop skills you didn't have going into that relationship? And now that you're out of it, you're ready to go forward with a better social mask, okay? And number four, I want you to think bigger than you ever have previously, okay? This is because you've now you've accepted it, and now I want you to just think big, okay? So let's say you woke up in the morning, you went to your job, after work you'd go see them, you guys would go out to eat or you would have drinks on the weekend to the sports bar. That was your life. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go to work. I want you to come home and say, tonight I'm going to a painting class. Then I want you to go to work, come home that night and say, you know what? I've never tried kickboxing. I'm totally going to try that now. Things that you haven't done, I want you to start thinking bigger. It's going to make you feel better because your body will start saying, not only is that relationship part of the past, but I'm actually changing now to the point where that relationship may no longer even fit me with where I'm going, okay? And the final one is, with all this, you've done a social mask, you've, you've started thinking bigger, you've felt it, you've understood it, and now that you've accepted it, you have a new identity. I want you to take on that new identity. I want you to, I want you to think and consider uh, what may not have attended uh, about your personality over time and say, now I'm going to start paying attention to things that I may have left or missed out, okay? 
In other words, it's time to move forward and no longer be stuck in the, I'm going to sit around and just think about how I feel all day. Now it's time for you to do something different. Okay, we're going to recap. Number one, I want you to think about life without rejection. If it didn't happen, you wouldn't have met the next person. And then the next person that you meet. And then the next person. I'm sure a couple of people back, you probably thought they're, when they broke up, they were a broken heart and you met somebody else. It goes to show that humans do move on and that our life does improve without other people that we thought were going to be with us forever. Okay. Number three, or number two, I want you to have a develop a growth mindset. Now's the time for you to grow. Okay. Number three, in that process, I want you to undertake a makeover. It's going to start, you're going to start going through a makeover. Okay. Number four, during that makeover, I want you to start thinking bigger than you previously have at any point in your life. Okay. I want you to just, I want you to push. I want you to get it going. Okay. Number five, I want you to take on a new identity. I want this to be the new, refreshed, refined, ready to go. I'm ready to get out there. I'm ready to get it done and be somebody kind of person. Okay. These five things, if you just keep them simple, the hardest part, the hardest part in the beginning is accepting what has happened and saying, it's okay. If that person ever wants to be a part of my life again, I will hear from them in some capacity. But you may have changed a lot by the time you hear from them again. Or you may not. Maybe the same person, but you know they'll have to earn their spot instead of just getting it back anymore. Because you've changed and you've gotten better and you've gotten bigger and you've started to understand yourself more. You've refined and polished yourself. So when they come back, you get to say, I'm a more refined, polished, better version than what you were dating before. You need to tell me why I should take someone like you back now. Now you need to earn it. Okay? So I hope that helps you in kind of getting over and, and going through the process of breaking up and going through a little bit of pain. Understand everybody goes through it. You're not alone. Anybody you talk to should be able to have at least one conversation about what happened to them when they got hurt. That doesn't address your pain, but what it means is it's naturally human to hurt at the loss of something. But it's also just as human to accept it, rebuild, and be a better version of yourself when you're done. Okay? Okay. So if you're going through a breakup and things are hard right now and you really could use someone to talk to and you want to book a personal session with me, contact me at the link below. And if you found this uh, video of value to you, you can show your appreciation by donating by clicking the link below as well. And I will talk to you soon.